This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Hey, it's me, this is Tree, and welcome back to another Manuduk tutorial. Today, we are gonna pick up where we left off with our listener and we are gonna turn it into a command handler. But to create a command handler, we first need a few commands. So let's start with the bare bones basic structure of a command. And I like to create an interface for that, so all commands are basically the same. So let's right click our main package, select new and then package. And I'm gonna call the package command. In the command package, we're going to create an interface and I'm going to name this interface I command I for interface, of course. And yes, I want to edit for Git. Uh, and for the ones that are wondering why I use Git, I use it to keep track of my changed files and easily push publish them for you to view on GitHub. In our interface command, we want to define a few methods. We want to have a void method, which is called handle a string that returns the name of the command and a list with string that we're going to call get aliases but of course not every command has to have aliases so for that we can make this a default and we can just re return return list dot off the list dot off method was introduced in java 9 if you are not on java 9 plus you need to use array stop s list i also added a comment here that you should use array stop s list if you are still on java 8 next up our handle method needs some context for the command for that we are going to create a command context class so in our command package, we're going to create a new class. I call this command context and command context implements I command context. As you can see, I command context is from the bot comments package and already has a lot of methods implemented for us that we can use. And of course it abuses the default method. So there are a few methods that we need to implement in the, in command context, which is get gold. And this is for if you want to say a return a custom gold object that has like some settings in there, you can do that here. But for now, we just want to say uh, uh, this dot get event dot get gold. And our get event, we need an event for that. So private final gold message received event event. And of course, we also need our arguments. So, private final list string args. And we're gonna hit Alt insert in IntelliJ to generate a constructor. Oh, that is that event. And for the event, you can say this is the event. And we can make a get args over here. So now that we have our command context done, we want to go into I command. And in our handle method, we can just say command. Oh, shoot. Command context ctx to make sure that we have that context in there. Next up, we need some sort of command manager. So I'm going to create this in our base package and I'm going to call it command manager. And the reason that we use an interface for our commands is so that we can create a private private final list of i command we're going to call this commands and it's equal to a new array list of course you can use a map for this if you want uh, i highly recommend using a map but an array list is just way easier. Next up, we're gonna create an add command and get command method. So, private 
void add command and it's called i command cmd and first off we need to define a boolean to see if we already have a command found so boolean name found and we're gonna say it is dot command dot stream dot any match it's gonna say it let's say it dot get name dot equals ignore case cmd dot get name and if we have a name found we can throw a new illegal argument exception saying a command with this name is already present and of course you can do the same check with aliases as well but i'm gonna keep it to names for now and after this if it doesn't throw it you're gonna say command dot add cmd but of course we also need to get our commands from that list so we're just gonna say private i command get command and we're gonna say string search of course you want to make sure that our search is always lowercase so we can make a string search lower equals search dot to lowercase and now we can just uh this dot commands dot for each just make for each loop so we're gonna say if say cmd dot get name dot equals search lower or cmd dot get aliases dot contains search lower we're gonna return cmd and if not we're gonna return null and just as an extra check we're gonna make this nullable which is a java x annotation and this tells our IDE that we need to make sure to check if this can return null. Next up, we need to make a method called handle course. And this can be package private because the command manager is in the same package as our listener. So we're going to say void handle gold message received event event. And firstly, I'm going to just copy and paste something from off screen. Let's import pattern. So let's go over what this does real quick. This, uh, we're gonna create a string array called split, and this gets the raw content of the message. Then we're gonna take off the prefix and split it on white space. Next up, we need to get the invoke. So string invoke, which is equal to split 0 0.2 to lowercase. And then we're gonna say i command cmd equals uh, this dot get command invoke. So right now, if you were to say cmd dot handle, you can see uh, method invocation handle may produce null pointer exception. And this is because of this nullable annotation up here. So let's create an if statement to check if cmd is not equal to null. We're gonna say event.getChannel.send typing. And we're gonna queue this because this is a rest action. Next up, we're going to take the remaining of the split. And we're gonna say arrays.asList split. And we're going to sublist that with 1 into the split length. So we're taking up the first index and we're starting at 1. Next up, we're going to create our command context, which is just the, ev which is just the event in the args parameters. And we're going to say cmd.handle.ctx. 
And as you can see now, it doesn't warn us about a possible null pointer exception. If you really want to tell your user, hey, this command is not found, you can make an else oh, over here to tell your user that the command wasn't found. But I don't like to do that, so I'm just going to do it this way. Next up, we're going to our listener and we're going to define a variable in the on gold message received, which is called user. It is just the author of the event. And if the user is a bot or the event is a webhook message, uh, we're going to return because webhook messages shouldn't really target commands. And webhook messages also don't have a member, so they will likely crash something. And we just want to ignore bots. So that's why instead of event.author, we can just say user right now. And uh, we can return over here. So if we ever run the shutdown command, it doesn't go to our command manager. And finally, we can say if raw dot starts with prefix, we can say manager dot handle event. And what is manager, you may ask? Event manager is a private final command manager, manager, and a new command manager. Now, all that we need to do is create a simple command. And for that, I'm just going to create a new package in the command package called commands. And in there, I'm going to create a new ping command. Ping command implements i command name will be ping and in our handle method we need to uh, get the JDA object first so JDA because JDA holds our ping values uh, JDA oh J JDA equals ctx dot get JDA and get JDA is a method from the bot comments I command context and as you can see all it does is event dot get JDA so now that we have our JDA object, we can say JDA.get rest ping. We're gonna queue this because it's a rest action. And in here we get returned the ping. So now we can do ctx.get channel. We can send message format, because I like to send messages format. And the ping goes in there. So what we can say is rest ping percent sign s to insert the variable and we're gonna say milliseconds. Don't forget to queue sending the message. Uh, we can also get the gateway ping which is the websocket ping. So we can say backslash n for a new line ws ping and then the same thing percentage s ms and this is jda.get gateway ping. So now all that's left to do is to go over to our command manager and register the command. We can do that in our constructor. And we're just going to say add command new ping command. And now that we have added our first command, we can start the bot and go over to Discord. So now that the bot is booted up, and we are in our recording channel. We can just say exclamation mark, exclamation mark, ping. And you can see how trash my internet is to the Discord servers. And as you can see with some bots, it uh, has to do a edit message to get a rest ping. Um, because we are using a rest action to basically execute a rest request, we don't need to uh, edit the message. So that's how to make a basic command structure and a ping command. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to Docs if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time in another tutorial. Bye. <laughs>